call it DNC, drill and ceremony, where the movements of marching were honestly movements of how you will go into battle with your enemy and whatnot. And learning how to march and sing and cater at the same time, I loved it. Cause I could do left, right, left. I could do a pivot, I could do a turn, you know. Then we're as close to dance steps I possibly could get to. Um, and then going to airborne school, jumping out of the airplane was also as close to a dance step. Cause when you're at the door, the ballet word is for it is a assemblé. You have to assemblé in the air, put your feet together, hold your reserve, tuck your chin, and eventually you'll, you know, fall, fall down. But if your body is not in this assemblé tight silk position, anything can happen to you. Certain movements, I compare them to dance, so I can still feel close to being in the dance world. But in the mil <laughs> but in the army uniform and some boots. <laughs> well, I first started dancing around the neighborhood at the birthday parties. Going to the birthday parties and at every every birthday party, it was a dance contest, and I would go up there do my dance and I would win. And I was winning all the birthday girl or the birthday boy all their money. It got to the point where I wasn't allowed to participate in the birthday party dances anymore. Then one of my neighbors told my mom, you need to get her in something more constructive with dance. How about some real dance classes? So my mom actually got me into dance classes. My first dance class in dance studio was Marcella's Dance Studio in Highsville, Maryland. I, at first I was just taking jazz. Then later on I started taking hip hop and tap, finally ballet. Coming to New York, staying with my godmom to actually start a dance career, I wasn't getting any jobs. Like going to auditions, keep everybody was telling me no. Finally got two or three regular regular jobs working at the mall, and I, I felt defeated because I was hearing more no's than yes than often. Since it wasn't providing me with the necessary skills to survive, I'm like, why do I need this now? Then, went to the Army, wasn't dancing. But in the Army, they have the soldier show where if you are a talented soldier, you can audition for them. And within the audition, they do a 10-month TDY tour all around the world. So I auditioned for that, and I was on tour. The highlighted moment of doing the soldier show, um, my cast was the 2015 cast. I was able to do a ballet. And within that ballet, we performed it at the Army Birthday Ball in Washington, D.C. in front of the top generals, chief of staff, everybody you could think of in one room. We were on the road for 10 months, performing over, over 140 different um, installations, stateside and international side. I was just, I was like, this is, I really love to do this. Why am I here? So. I Me mean, actually doing my homework my last couple of months in the Army, figuring out where I need to go. And luckily, I seen the NYU ad on Facebook, and I was like, let me look into this program. So I looked into the program, and I read that you can get your certification, K-12 teaching certification, as well as your MFA degree. I, I really channeled myself, this is what you want, go for it. Because you've been unhappy for so long. Go ahead and do this audition. Sure enough, came here and did the audition. Nervous! <laughs> this is like the first time I actually I was in the first position, holding on to the bar, hearing people tell me what to do in French, you know, and dan actually in dance terminology. I didn't have people yelling at me saying, get down, soldier! <laughs> For only in the rest position. <laughs> like, it wasn't that no more. It was something that I was missing. And once I got here and did my first audition, I was like, whew, I feel so much better. Like a weight been lifted off my shoulder. Since I want to teach dance and also be a choreographer and take that touring, meaning I want to be in different schools, working with different kids every six or seven weeks or so. 
So I think this program allow, allowed me to continue to be creative on top of being creative, still giving the students the foundation of academic dance. Learning the foundations for what is dance, how do you do dance, how do you perceive dance, how, how, how can we all make dance more universal? So with the classes I'm taking from methods, language, all these classes are honestly intertwining how I can build my curriculum, how I create my lesson plans, how I even like give a dance class to people that are dancers and non-dancers. So it's, it's shaping me to still be well-rounded and address the different needs of different people in and out of the studio.